Welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. I am Zach Sharp, joined by another newly formed meteorologist, Zach. <laughs> Sorry, we are dual <laughs> Dual Zach, that's for sure. Yeah, but we have a lot to talk about on tonight's show. Uh, warmer temps today, did you enjoy those temperatures? I love the temperatures today. You know, walking the class, it was just beautiful. A nice 38 degrees. Uh, it's, it's almost like you didn't need that winter coat. It was a tad warmer, so. No, a sweatshirt worked perfectly. You know, the good old fashioned sweatshirt, you know, just nice pair of jeans. Saw a couple people in shorts. I don't think it was uh, that warm, yeah, but. No, it was definitely not that warm, but. Maybe we'll hint at some snow, but we'll let Nathan go go talk. We'll about let Nathan talk about that. Yeah, yeah. But, and then right now it's sort of weird. We have a mixed bag of weather because in our south we have tornadoes. Yes, yeah, so we do have tornadoes down in Louisiana. We had tornadoes down this morning, and there was even a or tornado watch in Texas. Really? Yeah. Well, and that's because of a cutoff low that brings moisture down to the down to Texas. I'll explain that more in the national forecast. Yeah, you'll, you'll tease much more about yes. that. But for now, we'll enjoy this weather and we'll. Uh, I bet Nathan will have more to talk about if these warmer temperatures will continue or not. But for now, let's head over to Nathan and have his little tease. Awesome. Well, we did see a beautiful day today. We saw temperatures hit 41 at agronomy today. Uh, Just unbelievable. It's such there. a beautiful day out today. And uh, tomorrow, I think if people like today's weather, they're going to like tomorrow's weather because and it's kind of a repeat. What about Friday? Well, I'll talk about yeah, that in a second. But if we pull up the day planner, you can see that Tonight, it's not actually that bad or cold out waking up in the morning. It's going to get down to 26 degrees uh, at 8 a.m. So for waking up, it's not going to feel too bad. Definitely maybe sweatshirt re weather for some people, but a lot of people still want to grab that coat. And then by 3 p.m. with the sun out, it's going to feel really nice. We're going to see a lot of snow melt. So if people are kind of sick of that snow, they're going to like tomorrow. I don't know about Friday because we do have some uh, wintry weather coming back in our forecast. And I'll have more details later on for that. Yeah, Friday looks sort of it's strong to watch. And, yeah, yeah National Weather Service is watching it. But for now, we're going to kick it to a break, and we'll come back with your trivia question and much more. Stay tuned. Today's trivia question. Today's trivia question is due to poor forecasting, which city was paralyzed by a record setting 20.2 inches of snow? Your, your uh, choices are A, Columbus, B, Des Moines, C, New York, D, Raleigh. We'll have that answer and much more, but for now, let's go over to Zach Molak with your national forecast. How you doing? You know, the national forecast, you know, it's all over the United States. Uh, national weather is definitely like an amazing time this time of year. We have some nice warm temperatures down in the south. As you can see, we got 50s down in uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, up north in Oregon and, uh, and uh, Washington. We have 30s, but in Ames, you know, we have a perfect, you know, 30, 32. Um, the nation is nice and warm. Uh, the jet stream, as you can see, the jet stream is pretty much straight across the middle of the United States. Uh, we do have a low-level uh, jet down in uh, Texas. It's creating low pressure. Um, a bunch of rain is happening down in Texas. That's where earlier we mentioned there was those tornadoes down in uh, Louisiana, <laughs> and that's because of the uh, main pressure that's down there. Uh, right now, there are severe storms down in Louisiana, Florida, Georgia area, like I said. Uh, there's a high pressure right down in the middle coming towards its way to Ames. The low pressure is going to start working its way down um, we should have cooler temperatures towards the end of the week, but right now there's going to be snow about four to eight inches. The national weather is calling up in uh, Washington and Oregon area, and there's a high pressure area over here in New York. Uh, like I said, cooler for the next six to ten days up in uh, Oregon and um, and Washington, but warm throughout the whole, uni whole United States. Down in Florida, it's going to be about 80 degrees. Um, the precipitation for the rest of the week, uh, wet. Um, out in the Chicago area, back in Indiana, you know, there's some snow that's going to happen out in Ohio, um, but for the rest, there's going to be a lot of dry temperatures in California. Back to you, Zach. Thank you very much, Zach. We're going to send it to another break, and when we come back, I'll have to answer your trivia question and your Iowa forecast with Nathan Gogo. Stay tuned as Size Lights on the Skies continues. My name is Fernanda. I'm the Cap your trivia question and give you the answer for it. 
Recap question due to poor forecasting, which city was paralyzed by a record setting 20.2 inches of snow? Your answers are A, Columbus, B, Des Moines, C, New York, D, Raleigh, and the answer is D, Raleigh. That was a lot of snow. But for now, let's go over your Iowa forecast with Nathan Gogo. Thanks, Zach. Well, we saw a beautiful day today. We hit 41 degrees here in uh, Ames on campus, and tomorrow we're going to see something towards that uh, again. So Ames right now, 30 degrees, partly cloudy with a south wind keeping us a little warm tonight, and it's going to keep us a little warm as those winds shift out of the northwest. Not going to cool us off too much, but we're going to see maybe some cloud cover later this week. Let's uh, go on to current conditions across the state. 30 in Ames, 29 in Storm Lake, 33 down in Clorinda. They almost hit 50 today. And as we go into uh, tomorrow's weather, we can see it's going to be pretty nice, or tonight, sorry, 26 degrees, partly cloudy, and the wind is going to be out of the southwest from 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's not going to be snowing out there, but <laughs> it's going to be a nice day tomorrow, breezy. Clouds will be on the decrease as we head into the later in the day today, tomorrow, and that's going to keep the snow melting as until we get into Friday where we may see some uh, some mixed precipitation. It's going to really depend on where uh, where you are. If you're in northern Iowa, you may see all snow up to three to five inches. And if you're in southern Iowa, you might not see much snow at all. So we're going to have to see how far that line extends, the mi mix from snow to rain, um, to see if you're going to get snow or not. But really, look at that week. Plenty of sunshine. The snow's really not going to stick around too much, depending on how much we got on Friday. But even s extending after Monday, it's going to be a pretty nice, um, pretty nice week ahead. Yeah, Friday looks like a storm system to watch. I know the National Weather Service is watching it right now as well. They're uh, just recently, before we got here at the studio, they released a hazardous weather outlook saying that it the forecast says snow could be moderate to heavy and or mm -hmm. intense at times, and wind could be the big wild card of the yeah. storm, and it could. Potentially, maybe if it ices, knock out power lines. We'll have to keep our eye on that storm. But wind is really the worst part of a storm because once you, it's snowing is one thing, but once you start blowing that snow around, plows aren't are less effective yeah. because the snow they plow. And then when you have ice on top of those power lines, it just weights down those power lines, and it's much easier to snap power lines. Mm -hmm. and maybe maybe we could talk about school cancellation Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only one could wish. Oh, yeah. a school cancellation would be a wonderful thing Friday. I yeah. could enjoy my sleep, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think a lot of us could enjoy sleeping in. But today, we enjoyed the weather. Uh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow is supposed to be even warmer. You know, across the United States, it's supposed to be warmer. You know. The big thing is the sun. I mean, once that sun came out today, I mean, it felt it felt like spring. It, honestly, it did. It really I honestly did. felt like it was the end of April. You yeah. know, I was supposed to go home, put some shorts on, yeah. jam some music. You know, I mean. Well, it was you a good saw feeling. people wearing shorts. Today. I saw people wearing shorts yeah. today. I looked at them a little bit. They had the sweatshirt on, but yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, I think what happened was they had those temperatures. We had those temperatures in the negatives the past or a few days ago, and then you know, it just yeah, the degrees. forty degrees certainly yeah. felt, it felt you know, amazing. Yeah. It really did. Yeah. 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 it's a lot better than two degrees, that's for sure. And, and then we have to snap back right to reality, and then potentially snow on Friday. I don't want to see that snow. There's light at the end of the tunnel because. Next week, or this weekend and next weekend, looks really nice. Which I hope that much relief maybe after the snowstorm, if we get it or not, we'll have yeah, to keep true. watching it. True. True. But we'll keep you updated on that, except actually our next show is Monday. Next, next show is Monday, but we'll, we'll, have, we'll have the f coverage of what happened. Yeah, coverage. And maybe I, I think it'll be nice. Usually most weekends, te technically time to be warmer. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. kind of weird how that works out. But and you know. it seems like usually when we talk about storms on sci fi, we, Mother Nature listens and she, like, makes them disappear. Yes. And it's yeah. like, of course. And then the next show we always have to come on and be like, oh, nope, I'm sorry, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to see, but it will bring you damage assessments and what actually happened during the storm next month. I hope there's no damage assessments well, bring, but... Oh, I hope it doesn't snow that much. Yeah, that would be a lot. I mean, the way National Weather Service is talking... <laughs> Either it snows a little bit. I don't want it to be ice. Earlier yeah. in the week, the ice, definitely. I mean, I was slipping and sliding. Fell, oh, did I you fell, really? yeah. You fell. Where? <laughs> <laughs> right outside my apartment. I literally... My roommate actually told me that it was icy, and so I just forgot what he said. And I walked <laughs> out, and I walked Just maybe 10 went. steps, slipped right on my back. Uh. I, I looked around, no one was there. I was like, okay. Over, over by Carver, that downhill going oh, toward oh, yeah, the MU. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, mean, you had, yeah. it was ice skating the whole way down. Really? Oh, people, yeah. People that were late for class were trying to walk past on it, and then they would take a dive for it. Yeah. And I, there was a lot of people that decided to not take the ice and take the snow. Take the, the snow on the, the side. Part, though, is when you know someone something's icy, but you don't want to tell the person about to go. You just kind of want to see. <laughs> yeah. Like, <once> <laughs>
There was one time last year where a, pa a patch was so icy, everyone that was walking on it fell. Like, everyone. <laughs> but, like, I just stayed there. I didn't even want to go home. This was, like, entertainment. Did you just watching? Just, I was just a bystander watching? I was just kind of watching, seeing. You gotta admit, it's sort of funny, though. It is it funny. Well, like, yeah. I felt kind of bad. Well, then you feel, like, like, when you fall, you feel so embarrassing. You're like, oh, who watched then me? Then who that, saw me? You have the dilemma, do I help him or do I laugh? Like, it's it's kind of. Yeah. Well, because yeah. if you try and help pick him up, you're not going to get any traction. You might fall, too, and it might be a giant. Nice. Especially if two people are holding hands. There's one couple that was doing, they both tumbled, and it was, it was great. <laughs> I happened. did that once in the ice skating rink. Nice. I was skating, oh. fell down, you know, it was, it was horrible. So yeah. I want to point something out here. Maybe yeah. we felt snow coming because we're all wearing blue. No, yeah, I no, think it's just the kind blue of blue is blue nice. You know, it's here. We did not plan this. Okay, so we're getting a signal, but thank you for joining us here on Size Eyes on Skies tonight. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. But for now, I'm joined by Nathan Gogo, Zach Malak, and I am Zach Sharp. Please join us again on Monday, but for now, good night.